well, I shouldn't say good morning, I'll say good afternoon. It's ten past two. Um, yeah, just dried my hair, just gonna go and brush it. And um, sorry, that's a bit of a weird angle. I'm gonna get ready to do the school run and pick those two little monkeys up. Um, yeah, that's my table. Table of shame. No, it isn't. So I have the baby cardigan, which I'm just going to take with me. Um, to have its first fitting. <laughs> then the crochet, where do I go? That way. Crochet granny squares. Then what else is up here? Um, oh, the basket I have for the baby, like, you know, patterns and stuff in notions. And then, oh, if you come down here, yeah, I've taken the table off, it's coming off today. Um, what do I have? I have uh, the Pure Joy Shawl, which I got out yesterday morning and sorted that out. So the Swift's out because I had to break it to the second ball. And I can't do this. So I'm not professional. And a skein of yarn, a precious, precious skein of yarn, Mr. and Mrs. Rabbits. So I'll come back and talk to you about that later. Um, I better pack my bag, brush my hair, put my shoes on. And I have got lipstick on, but it doesn't really look like I have. Okay. Come along, how much they're growing up like yeah the end of the school year another four weeks and the Fred's not a reception of the year one in a big school big school so they're going to have to wear a tie in September your football's on Friday Ooh. it's Friday tomorrow no it's Tuesday tomorrow say hello <coughs> Fred Say hello, to, say hello to everybody. Hello. Last year. Oh, what's my Fred? Hi. Hello, my darling. So I think we have a grumpy Fred. Grumpy Fred. I'm just going to go home and have a cup of tea. Are you going to say hello, darling? You mean to our house? Yes. Is that all right? Can Grandma come and have a cup of tea with you? I'm good to go. Oh, not today, my darling. Not today. Oh dear, he's a bit upset. He thought it was uh, coming to me to stay. Right, see a bit. Right, I'm just at my daughter's and this is for Alex. So we're doing our squats. <laughs> I've got um, my daughter's partner to um, join in. Are you alright if I say your name or do you want me yeah. to? Oh, it's Tim, yeah. Come on then, how many you got to? 93. 93. 
100. Yay! Oh, he's showing off now. One, two, three. This is for Danny. I said, to, I told him that Danny was. Um, can do a hundred in one go. Fred, you're going to join in if Grandma joins in. Oh, is that off? No. Um, 110, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, I'd stop now if I were you. He's been out of work all day. Are you counting? Five for the books. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Right, Freddie's going to do his star jumps. Are you ready, Freddie? Yeah. Okay. Off you go. One, two, three, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three. 34. Are you done? <laughs> do, you want to do, do you want to learn how to do a squat with Grandma? Come on. Come on, should we do it together? Yeah. Right. You, edit, you edit the... Can you, can you do this? Or do you want to do that? Do you want to put your hands out? Yeah. Right, and then what you have to do is you have to, you have to imagine you're sitting on the top. Yeah, you're going to sit down. Okay, you ready? Oh, for a minute. Ready? Ready? <laughs> Back straight. Back straight. Ball to the floor. Stick your bottom out. Five. That's it. Six. Seven. Do you want me to to help you? Right. You lift these out. Right, and then you're going to put your bottom back if you're sitting down. So if you're sitting going to sit on the toilet, put your, put your bottom. That's it. Your legs out. Your hands out. Right, hands up. Right, and then we're going to put our bottom. All right, it's going to go. You have to keep your back up, though. Okay. Come on, how many did I get? Seven? Yeah, I'm do some more. Eight. Oh. Nine. Seven. I keep looking at Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. I'm doing my things as well. Sixteen. Seventeen. Oh, Are you okay? Just do your press ups. So do one handed press up. That's so clever. Look, go on then. Do sit ups. Okay, watch it. Do this count. Go on then. One. You've got to shy now. Two. Well done. Three. Four. Oh. Five. 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 Okay. Can you do your press ups for me? Come on, let's see you do your press ups. Can you turn this way, face the camera? Come on, do, do 10 press ups with one one. Well, I love it. And then, then you'll have to do anything else. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Did you do one handed? Yeah. Okay, come on then. Okay, you go first. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yay! Well done, you. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Oh, I hope I don't look as tired as what I did this morning. Um, Mr. Jacks was snoring. So I was up in the night for about two and a half hours. I was productive. Worked on my Pure Joy show. So I'm on the the second colour, the last wedge. Yay! Might even get it finished tonight. We'll see. We'll see. Now, I'm hoping this isn't going to be too long. So I think what I'll do is I'll try and go through it as quickly as I can. And then if there's anything that you'd like more information on, um, let me know. Leave me a comment um, below. So I made this shawl. I'm going to be... Oh, sorry, I'm going to be up and down, up and down a bit. Was that a mark? I don't know. Oh, I've just been doing a bit of editing. And if you see Fred, he's not his usual um, perky self because 
he was really pleased to see me, all excited. And then when he realised he wasn't coming home with me, he was in a mood. <laughs> so, yeah. so that's why. I'm so popular, you see. Um, right. I've got a couple, a couple of double knit shawls. Um, these, I think they're called cakes. This is a Serdar colour wheel. Um, and these were all the rage about, um, I think, 2017 to about 2019. So this is a Serdar and it's actually the one on the label. Um, and this is this is lovely. And I think this is my first shawl. I'm not going to go into how you wear it or anything. But you just start at one end and just... Um, Work your, work your way across. It's a dead easy, so it's just it's a, a good beginner friendly one, in my opinion. Um, it's just garter, is it garter stitch? <laughs> yes, yeah, garter stitch and some eyelets. So, um, yeah, you could easily, I think, do do that. So that was, so that's that one, and I kept that. Look, so a lot of stuff I make and I give away. So that's that. My second um, double knit shawl made for my mum and I've still not seen her. It's like a big, well, it isn't a big thing, but it is. I don't think, you, whatever age you get to, you always want your mum, don't you? And I only have my mum. Yeah, my dad, um, my dad didn't want me. He, um, yeah, left me at an airport. <laughs> Where's my mum? I have two brothers, they separated. I wasn't there on my own, but I didn't know when I saw him. Uh, Say goodbye, that was last time I could see him. But that's, yeah, that's enough of that. So this is a double, uh, this is a double knit shawl and this is in, um, mm, I can't remember, oh, crumbs, I can't remember, I can't remember. So look at, look at this, it's dead easy. Um, the bees are just so beautiful and this is by let me just get my pile I just have it in the it's a hum, humble bee shawl by fiber tails and it's absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and um, i'm trying to work through my stash i hadn't got that color but i'd got this color so i was just thinking oh it's a bumblebees in the evening Evening light um, flying through the lavender. Does that sound good? <laughs> so yeah, it's it is it is dead easy. The only thing I would say, and she doesn't tell you to do that, is you have to cast on quite a lot. It's a pay for pattern, so I'm limited to what I can tell you. But you have to um, cast on a lot of stitches. I think it's nearly 300 or just over 300. So I just put stitch markers in and. For me, stitch markers and lifelines are the be-all and end-all with um, shawls so that you don't, especially for lace, you can pull it back. So yeah, so that's what I did. And it just helped me to keep my, keep my count to start off with. And I think I took them off on the second or third row. So you've got a spine detail going down the middle. And you literally, so you start at the bottom and then just decrease, decrease, decrease until you're up at the top. And this is for, yeah, my darling, my darling mum. So, yes. When I say I haven't got a dad anymore, I haven't got a dad anymore. My husband did some research before Christmas and found out that he's no longer alive. And I'm like, oh, you know, for six, yeah, six, he died, he evidently died 16 years ago. So this is 16 years I've been sort of thinking, oh, I might meet this man one day and I can ask him some questions to get my back maintenance or my mum get it. <laughs> that's not to be. So, yeah, that's another story. Um, and I'm not as flip about it as I'm making out. I'm okay with it. Yeah, I don't know if that's too much information, but I started, so I finished. Right, so then, so they're my double knit shawls, and then I've shown you, haven't I, my crochet shawl um, from the lovely Alex, and it's the Autumn Wings shawl, and that's in black and white. So she's got that for sale on Ravelry and her Etsy shop. I think that on the, the Humblebee shawl was woolly knits. I'll have to get a look. 
Uh, yeah, so this is my autumn wings. So look at this. <laughs> I am super, super proud of this. So this is three yarns from um, Bed Street Yarn. I adore that yarn. Look at that. And it's dead easy. Dead easy to do. So I'm on the lookout for um, a crochet shawl. Do back in a crochet shawl. So, if you've got any pattern recommendations, if you'd leave them below, please, so I can um, check those out. Yeah, I'm like, I'm rocking this crochet now. It's funny, isn't it, how something when it clicks, it clicks, and I'm like, oh my word, let me have a look. What can I do? What can I do? <laughs> right, so that's that one. And then I think the rest are, are I think the rest are fingering weight and merino. Reno. Right on. Oh, so for a one skein, this is the Spindrift Shawl by um, Curious Handmade. And oh my word, that is a beautiful, beautiful shawl. And I am thinking of um, this myself one again to match my wardrobe. <laughs> I I get cold sort of round the back here and just sort of here. So to have something just tucked round would be better for me. So this is in Ted's Knits Wisteria. So I think I I purchased this again last May and it when it came it was so beautiful. I just had to cast it on and then that's where I went off on a tangent of shawls. So I can see where like Ruth gets it and it's beautiful, beautiful absolutely beautiful now I have got sorry I've got a sock set uh, the dress is one I was prancing around in on Mother's Day so only like a Tesco special um, it's hanging up over there because I've caught it I've got to repair the I think it's hadn't been sewn up properly that's my excuse <laughs> up the seams I've just got to, it's only about an inch but it's black and it's got like sort of pink and white like flowers on a bit of green so I've got Mr and Mrs Rabbit skein of yarn that is pink and it's got green in it. So I'm just wondering if I knit the pink and then um, just do some eyelets on it because I don't think it'll matter how many eyelets, how many rows I had, as long as I had perhaps two. Yeah, and if I did this in one skein again, I think I would just keep going. I might get one row, maybe two more out of it. But yeah, beautiful. And this, oh, I've just got some Ted knits out on the floor. This is Wisteria. Look at that. That's beautiful. So that's that one. So that's one skein. That's a really good present, you know, like for a friend. So I knitted that last year. And then I knitted, I don't know whether this is a really good picture, Evidently, there's a picture of me on Instagram somewhere. Um, I knitted the Peas Blossom Shawl, designed by Penny Baker, and I bought the yarn, I think it was Tatiana, by Amanda from Little uh, Lycak Podcast. Oh my word, it was such a beautiful knit. So that's, if you can see that, so that's Penny Baker, and that's the, that's the shawl. And that was um, one skein. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And um, yeah, my friend was going through a really hard time last year. Um, so I knitted it for her and it was really bad um, what she was going through. So I was sort of like having a bit of a cry and then thinking about it, thinking about all the things like we've done. We've been friends for over 20 years. And when I was able to go and see her and gift it to her, oh my word, she was just absolutely delighted. So yeah, that was nice. So that's a good um, shawl. I haven't obviously knitted loads. Um, oh, this is one of my early, sorry, this is one of my early ones. And this is Kira Cove. And this is by Tammy Gore. And I put this up, my daughter showed me how to put it on the, on um, Instagram. And she actually commented and liked it. I was like, oh my word. And this is lovely. I was trying to convince the daughter to wear this when she went to a wedding. But it wasn't quite, she was navy and it wasn't quite the right colours. But this is, yeah, so this is a crescent. The crescent style shawl. Well, I don't know what that's called actually, that style shawl. Um, 
So this is a two two skein shawl. So the navy. Uh, <laughs> let's have a look. Let's see if I've written on the pattern anywhere. That'll be a help if I can read it. Uh, hmm. What's the No, I haven't. Oh, um, oh, the yarn, both yarns, right, both yarns are from Stranded Dye Works, and the navy is Deep Feelings, and I'm sure this one is like, wash your hands. It's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it's got some eyelets in it as well. Really lovely. So that's, yeah, a two skein, four ply merino um, project. I've got to rearrange my ladder now. Right. Oh, I've got a cherry heart one there. What else? Oh, I have a one. Well, let's just finish this. This is a beautiful shawl. Um, and this is Good Vibes. And it's by Nadia. Is it? I know what to say. <laughs> That's who it is. And it's Nadia. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this would make, in my opinion, um, a beautiful gift for somebody that's not complicated, but it looks extra special. Look at that. And that has, yeah, that has eyelets in it as well. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, I'm, I was getting my, yeah, my um, skeins out yesterday and I'm tempted to, um, obviously in the last what, two, three years, I've just bought whatever I like, you know, whatever I've liked the look of, that's what I mean. Um, but not really thought about what I'm going to do. I just thought, oh, that's beautiful, I'll buy it. So, and I'm starting to slowly change, change and educa educate my taste with yarn choices, if that makes sense. Um, so that was that one. And then, oh, I did a test knit, oh my word. So this is my lace, let's just check. So I think this is, a two skein shawl. This is the Silver Dollar Shawl and this is by Joanna Heron. It's um, the Twin Set twin set and Pearl um, Girls and it's just beautiful. Let me just see if I can read about my glasses. Two 100 gram skeins and I knitted this it was at my stash, and I think it was sock, yeah, yes, the sock, yeah. Look at this. Oh, I've got it right, right, yeah, I've got it right. <laughs> so this is um, beautiful, like copper coloured, and this is this is a charted pattern. With um, full instruct, full written instructions, so you could do it either either way. Beautiful, really, really lovely. So well written pattern, well ex, well well written pattern, and the joy, yeah, to knit. So that was my lace. Oh, right, let's just put if I at least put the patterns away. That's something. This might be a long video, but I thought I'd better do it because I promised. Oh, they're down there. Oh, and this was a. Oh, right, and this was an early one. I don't think I've got any date on here. Yeah. So this is a John Arvin pattern, and I bought this at Yarndale when I first went, I think in 2000. Is it 2016 or 2000, something like that? 2018, maybe. 
and that's what it's supposed to look like. I used used the yarn that they recommended. I bought it, you know, pattern the yarn. This is before I knew about lifelines, but <laughs> and it's beautiful. It's so soft. So this is my yes. It's got um, Stellina in it, so there's like a little bit of shimmer um, to it. So beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And I was quite, I was quite daunted at first. Sorry if the lights going in now, um, but yeah, no, I did, I did it, I did it. So I think that was that was probably the second shawl I did after the whirl. <laughs> Yeah. So I went straight in at the um, deep end. Oh, my ladder's getting empty. And then Stephen West is amazing. And when I watched Inside Number 23, I think she was showing the exploration station. And I had never, ever seen anything like that. And I was like, oh, my word, that's amazing. I would love to make something like that. Never even thought I would be able to. But then when I saw it was Christmas 2020, I'd ordered some yarn from Bird Street Yarn. My husband, that was my birthday, uh, my Christmas present from Mr. B. Not Mr. B, from Mr. Jax. Um, and they were sitting under the tree. This pattern came out. I thought, well, it's a must, really. But I was daunted. I'll be, I'll be honest. And then that's when you need... Um, yeah, you know, like a friend like Ruth, like she's like the queen of shawl knitting. Oh my word. And she makes them so quickly. Um, she said it'll be fine, you'll be able to do it. I'm just going to go for it. What's the worst I can do that I can't knit it? Yeah, and this is, I think this really um, <laughs> made me believe in myself. Duh. <laughs> and it's just, it's just gorgeous. And it's dead easy he's he is the most generous human being um he's a great teacher he's like comes out with all the kits and the patterns he always says work it from your stash yeah he's great so look at that i did all those i did uh, this, this bit obviously the garter's easy yeah the fan at the bottom and that was uh I think it was four colours, four colours. So yeah, beautiful, beautiful. And I still have one that I started last year, which was last October, and that was his mystery knit along. Um, I think I love all, I love the colours of the yarn, but I think I much prefer being able to plan the colours in my project because I do like a bit of colour hints. <laughs> Um, and also I'd seen things in like a teal and a blue and a grey. I think um, Ellie from Cra Craft House Magic, that's the one that I wanted. So Ellie, if you don't want to, I'll have it, please. Um, so hopefully that's a whistle stop tour and you can, yeah, just um, leave me a comment if you want to know any more information. So I hope that's OK. I also did another shawl which was three skeins and that was for my youngest daughter for her birthday last year and I'll see if I can get it off of her um, that was from Lindsay Tranter of Stitch Create Love and that was beautiful and that was a lace shawl that you started at the bottom and just gradually um, decreased it was beautiful and my daughter absolutely loves it so um, yeah so I need to see if I can find it or she can find it and I can show you um, and that's it I think so what's the time it's 20, 20 to 7, so that, that's a good time for me to say goodnight to you because my face is going to drop. <laughs> um, what else was to say? All my steps. Right, 9,000, 9,000 odd. So I hope you found the um, um, little bit of footage of us doing our um, squats today. It's quite infectious, really. You start something and then people just sort of join in. Um, my husband's a type 2 diabetic. 
you know, doesn't look after himself, just pops a pill somewhere, it worries me sick. So um, I keep talking about Alex and how good she is, like how, and I really do believe this, and I'm absolutely, 100%, she is an inspiration, and she was one that made me go and get my, um, my test done, because I thought I was a type 2 diabetic, but I'm just overweight. <laughs> and I am working, working towards it, um, and it's coming off slowly, but I'm fine, because mine is lifestyle lifestyle choices so i just need to change my lifestyle but to do something that i've got more than half a stone to lose so i can't go on just um um yeah just gonna die and get rid of that there's a lot more and yeah so that's another, that is a whole another podcast and i'm not gonna go there um so my lovies i'll see you tomorrow okay um i don't know if i yeah i have said and i hope that i look a, don't look as tired as i did this morning <laughs> Bye, my lovies. Bye.